At 11 o'clock now on BBC Two Northern Ireland, we join the BBC News and coverage of Ed Miliband speaking in Salford. We celebrate the success of Julie Walters at 10.30 here on BBC Two Northern Ireland. Now though, Maggie Smith is the diva and the show must go on. There's some strong language in tonight's film comedy, Quartet. Another nail-biter from Alfred Hitchcock now on BBC Two Northern Ireland. Two young men commit murder just for the thrill, then decide to throw a party. Question is, can they get away with it? James Stewart grows suspicious in rope. And before their diets start, our volunteers are enjoying a special meal, unaware they're being watched. A groundbreaking experiment follows here on BBC Two Northern Ireland in half an hour. Latest political issues under scrutiny now here in BBC Two Northern Ireland with Andrew Neil and the Daily Politics. Proving pines and conifers aren't just for Christmas. Carol Klein creates an evergreen island in the Peak District. That's on the Great British Garden Revival in half an hour here on BBC Two Northern Ireland after a journey of discovery with Michael Portillo. <laughs> Some violent scenes and very strong language now on BBC Two Northern Ireland in a network premiere of a perfect love story until it became the perfect crime. The Eggheads are back after their Christmas break at six o'clock here on BBC Two Northern Ireland. Right after we join Paul Martin. So ahead of the rugby, another battle begins on BBC Two Northern Ireland now. With the threat of a German invasion, the defence of Warmington on sea is left in the less than capable hands of Dad's army. Flog it from the potteries is coming up at 5.15. First on BBC Two Northern Ireland, it's the time of year for extreme weather. So how do islands like Shetland brave the great British winter? This is BBC Two Northern Ireland. Now at midday, we join Andrew Neil and Joe Coburn for Daily Politics. Well, for Dermot Gavin, there's nothing better in the garden, but lavender is under threat. The Great British Garden Revival in half an hour. First on BBC Two Northern Ireland, we're going underground with Michael Portillo. Fred Dibner with the building of Britain over the next hour on BBC Two Northern Ireland with fairy tale Scottish castles and fine country houses at 10.45. First, he celebrates carpentry. Now your brain's had it far too easy over the holidays. Mastermind coming up in half an hour on BBC Two Northern Ireland. But first, it's what they all wanted for Christmas. But we've made them wait till January. Michael Portillo begins a brand new Great British Railway journey in half an hour here on BBC Two Northern Ireland after the return of the Eggheads. More distinguished graduates compete in a festive university challenge in an hour. Now though on BBC Two Northern Ireland, trekking deep into tiger territory with Giles Clark. The Cockney who conquered Hollywood. The life and career of Michael Caine coming up in 45 minutes. 
enjoying ready meals now on BBC Two Northern Ireland, but you won't need a microwave. Well, it's all about the food and drink at 10 to 12 today when Tom Carriage reveals how to keep your food tasty and nice and simple. That's here on BBC Two Northern Ireland after some kitchen time with James. Detailing the secrets to simple food and drink, Tom Carriage shows you how to cut down on the fuss and still achieve success on a plate. That's in half an hour here on BBC Two Northern Ireland. We'll head to the leg side now on BBC Two Northern Ireland for World Championship darts. The new year brings new challenges now on BBC Two Northern Ireland, but with a little help from Paul and Mary, here's a chance to master those tricky tasks from the Bake Off of 2013. The latest global stories now on BBC Two Northern Ireland from BBC World News. A 2014 roundup of Mock the Week in an hour. First on BBC Two Northern Ireland, from drama to comedy, from theatre to TV to film, we reveal the extraordinary life on screen of Julie Walters with some strong language. Flog it comes from Northampton in an hour here on BBC Two Northern Ireland. But first, wrap up warm for a cool look at the countryside with Ellie Harrison. Spices and pickles, the key ingredients of the South Korean cuisine, as Dave and Sai discover on the latest leg of their Hairy Bikers Asian adventure. That's at 12.20. First, though, on BBC Two Northern Ireland, Michael Portillo heads through France in Great Continental Railway Journeys. With scenes of sexual violence now on BBC Two Northern Ireland, London is held in the grip of a serial killer and one man must prove his innocence in Hitchcock's thriller, Frenzy. A deadly mission for Harrison Ford and Robert Shaw in Force 10 from Navarone at 5.30. First on BBC Two Northern Ireland, New Year's Day football action in final score. A late Christmas present for one of our teams. It's the Christmas University Challenge final in an hour. But first on BBC Two Northern Ireland, seeing is believing. First though, here on BBC Two Northern Ireland, just enough time to fit in a scuba dive and hopefully Dowell Grimison has the thermals on as well. Last winter, the picturesque village of Moorland in Somerset almost entirely vanished underwater. But what happened after the floods? Villagers struggled to return home tonight at eight. And now on BBC Two Northern Ireland, more extremes of the great British winter. Film comedy quartet starring Maggie Smith here in half an hour. First on BBC Two Northern Ireland, the challenge is on. Michael Portillo sets out from Stirling towards Perth, then on to the gateway to the Highlands with historic stops along the way. His new Great British Railway journey continues in half an hour here on BBC Two Northern Ireland. Wartime thrills with Robert Shaw and Harrison Ford, now on BBC Two Northern Ireland, in a follow-up to the guns. But how will this daring mission compare to Navarone? <laughs> 